Michael Kors showed off his latest fashion offerings with a star-studded group of runway models on Wednesday. Kendall Jenner, 21, hit the catwalk in a shimmering two-piece ensemble that featured a long-sleeved crop top and a symmetrical matching skirt with a long slit up the front. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star wore little makeup on her naturally pretty face and wore her hair back away from her face in a messy updo. Also on the runway were Bella Hadid, Ashley Graham and Kate Upton. The audience was star-studded too with Catherine Zeta-Jones and her daughter Carrie's as well as best friends Nicole Kidman and Naomi Watts. Bella was dressed up in a similar skirt with a long slit that was paired with a patterned long-sleeved black shirt. The young model, 19, looked fabulous in the figure-hugging piece that showed off her curves. She wore her short, dark hair off her face and had her makeup done in a cat-eye style which has become her signature. Graham wore a loose black and white long sleeve dress that featured a plunging neckline to show off her cleavage with a tie in the middle that's cinching her waist. The brunette beauty wore her long hair down around her shoulders and looked pretty in natural makeup. Upton was also dressed in dark attire, which seemed to be the theme of that part of the show. She wore a black A-line dress that came down just past her knees. The blonde beauty showcased a sparkling blazer that she wore around her shoulders, opting not to put her arms through it. She also wore her hair in a messy updo and had on plain black flip-flops. Sarah Perez, who appeared to have preformed before the model strutted their stuff down the runway, looked pretty in a floral dress that came down to her ankles. She wore her hair in loose waves around her face and opted for similar shoes as the models. The talented songstress smiled broadly as she made her way down the runway. The show brought out many A-listers, including Australian friends Watson Kidman, who posed separately on the red carpet. They later found each other inside and opted to sit next to each other in the front row. Naomi looked chic and elegant in a black and yellow floral dress that slipped slightly off her shoulder. The loose frock cinched in at the waist showing off the blonde beauty's gorgeous figure. She paired the pretty dress with strappy black shoes and opted for minimal makeup with a splash of lip color on her gorgeous complexion. The gypsy star wore her cropped blonde hair in a dramatic side part and had it styled in very loose waves. Nicole was dressed in a similar short floral dress with long sleeves. The black and blue design fit her like a glow and hugged clothes in all the right places. She wore her light blonde hair in a pretty ponytail at the base of her neck and opted for natural makeup.
finishing off the pretty look, despite it being after Labor Day, the fashion-forward star opted for stark white heels. Zeta Jones, 47, brought her young daughter Carrie's, 14, with her to walk the red carpet at the show. The teenager looked pretty in a short yellow and gold skirt with an off-the-shoulder long sleeve top. Meanwhile, the Welsh star wore a black dress with a plunging V neckline and large belt cinching in her waist. Meanwhile, Kendall has been hard at work despite facing more legal action over her controversial t-shirt line. The 21-year-old model and her younger sister Killy, 19, pulled the $125 garments, which featured pictures of musical icons with their own likenesses superimposed over the top, from sale earlier this year. But photographer Al Pereira has now filed a lawsuit against Kendall Jenner Inc., claiming she had no right to use an image he shot of Tupac Shakur, Notorious B. IG and Redman in the collection, TMZ reports. Photographer Michael Miller previously sought legal action against the sisters for using his pictures without permission and planned to sue for any profits they made from the garments during the short time they were on sale. However, the Kendall Killy brand insisted the copyright infringement lawsuit was baseless because they obtained the shirts with the rapper's image from a company that had a valid license to sell them. They also admitted they only sold two of the garments before pulling the stock from sale. The company said in a statement, the allegations made are completely false and the lawsuit is baseless. There has been no infringement or violation of anyone's rights. The keeping up with the Kardashian stars were also threatened with legal action by the estate of Notorious B. IG, who claimed they would sue the pair if the t-shirts were not removed from sale. Kendall and Bella hung out and appeared to take a little break before the show as they waited for their hair and makeup. The duo lounged on the floor between the clothing racks, listening to music on headphones and chatting. Ashley Graham also sat close by playing on her phone. The model later had a fresh face and intentionally tousled mane as she put on her first outfit for the catwalk. She posed for the camera, pouting toward the camera and looking happy before making her big Michael Kors debut. The designer intentionally chose a makeup less look for his models, although even that required some major primping 